You can so play. Let's jump by numbers. Team number one. Thomas. Scolari. Team number two. Edward. Edward Nayas. Team number three. Sahando. Henry. Team number four. Peter Sam. Gordon. Team number five. Wusty and James. Team number six. Pussy. Duncan. Team number seven. Fearless Freddy and Toby. Team number eight. Duck. Team number nine. Donald. And team number ten. Douglas. Nelson. Let's start with team number one. The number one blue engine celebrating 60 years, Thomas. Oh, great jump right past the airport. 30 inches for Thomas. Our second number one engine representing narrow gauge, it's Scarlowy. Good jump for Scarlowy. Wow, he's doing really well too. I'll call that 29 inches for Scarlowy. Let's move on to the number two engines. He's already tired, folks. It's all out of Puff Edward. Oh, not a very big jump for Edward. That's seven inches. And representing the narrow gauge engines, it's their number two, Reneus, wearing his orange paint. Wow, good jumping by Reneus. Not enough to take the lead though, 25 inches. He's at the airport. And after two is the number three. Let's get ready to see how number three does. We'll start off with the narrow gauge engines. Here's Sir Handel, number three. Good jumping, wow, Sir Handel. And he's rolling backwards. Oh no, how did that happen? He ended up going forwards. I think he made it to the 28 inch mark. He rolled backwards. We're gonna have to see how, where he landed at the farthest point. And our instant replay showed that Sir Handel actually made it to the 29 inch mark before rolling back. And here's our other number three engine. It's Henry celebrating 60 years special edition. Henry, green and blue, are we ready? Oh! He hit him right on the nose right there. Nine inches for Henry. And after three, it's the number four. We've got Peter Sam, the number four narrow gauge engine. But let's start off with Big Blue Gordon. Fastest and best, my jumps are a mess. Go! Oh! Much better than Henry did. 21 inches for the big blue sausage. And it is narrow gauge time as fancy funnel, square funnel, Peter Sam, number four engine. Let's see how he does. Go! Oh, Peter Sam, that's ugly. Let's try and do that again. Much better. It looked like he landed on one wheel there, but he managed to pull it off 22 inches, a little bit farther than Gordon. We've got our number five engines, James and Rusty. Both of these guys very popular and very splendid on the island of Sodor. Let's start off narrow gauge with the narrow gauge diesel, Rusty, number five. Something's happening up here. I wonder if everything's okay, Rusty. Nice jumping and he almost made it to the goal track. 26 inches at the Soder Airport for Rusty. And now in his most splendid paint job ever, it's the other number five engine, busy as a bee, James. Oh, he flew like a bumblebee, but he only got 20 inches. Sorry, James. And after five must come six, it's time for the number six engines. Here's our narrow gauge number six, Duncan. Duncan, the most pleasant of the narrow gauge engines. Hopefully he does very well. And he does not do very well, only 17 inches for Duncan. And here we have a very special racing Percy. We hope this guy does it. Well, he's racing Percy, so you know he's gonna do good. 21 inches for racing Percy. Time for team number seven. We've got Toby, the tram engine, representing the standard gauge and narrow gauge. We got Fearless Freddy. You know what, let's start off with Freddy. He's a mountain engine. Let's see how fearless he really is. Go! 
Freddy, pretty fearless, he made it to the 22 inch mark. And here we have Royal Crest Toby representing those beautiful colors. Hopefully they give him a little bit of a jump as we get ready to go. Oh wow, Toby nose plotted off there. I'd like to see that jump again. You know what, let's give him another chance. He's Toby. Wow, much better. Look at that, Royal Crest Toby makes it to the 29 inch mark and it past the airport. And here we are with team number eight, only one engine that we have with the number eight. Let's call him Duck, the Great Western Railway Engine. 23 inches, that's the Great Western Way. And now it's time for our only number nine engine, Donald, one of the Scottish twins. Oh wow, that was a nose plot if I ever saw one. Let's give Donald another chance. Donald just can't seem to get it, but you know what? I'm in a generous mood, let's give him a third chance. Absolutely terrible for Donald. Three inches, my friend, you barely made it past the bridge. And staying with the theme of black, it is team number 10. Donald didn't do so good. Let's see if Douglas can jump better than his brother can. Oh, wow, unreal, I can't believe that. 37 inches, Douglas, unreal, you take the lead, my friend. And the final competitor is number 10, representing Jack of the Pack, it is Old Nelson. Wow, 23 inches, not enough to get on the podium today or make it to the next round. Very interesting results so far. We have a three-way tie for third place with Toby, Sir Handel, and Scarlowe each getting 29 inches. Thomas in second place with 30, and Douglas well ahead with 37 inches. He's in first place. We're gonna have a jump off between these five engines and see who can go the farthest. Let's start off again with team number one. These guys did outstanding. Scarlowe, the number one narrow gauge. You're the first jumper in the second round. Wow, 38 inches. He's moving backwards once he got to the end, but 38 inches, that's the farthest jump of today. Scarlowe in first place. Our second jumper also from team one, everybody's favorite engine. Celebrating 60 years, Thomas. Whoa, and he also made it to 38 inches before rolling backwards. Wow, we that's a tie for first place with the team number one engines. Let's fast forward to number three and go with Sir Handel representing narrow gauge. 38 inches is gonna be tough to beat. Can Sir Handel do it? No, 21 and a half inches. Number seven, it is Royal Crest Toby. He's got a big jump ahead of him to try and get 38 inches. Royal caress, royal jump. Royal disappointment, 24 inches for Toby. And the final jumper is the number 10 engine, Douglas. Ugh, this one's for you, Donnie. Oh, Douglas. Oh, no, come on. This will be your last attempt, Douglas. Let's hopefully you get it. And it's a big fail for the Scottish twin. Well, we've determined that Royal Crest Toby will finish in third place, but we still have a tie for first place as team number one is really competing against each other. Scarlowe and Thomas, let's get Thomas jumping first and let's see who's gonna win this round. I can't believe we made it to three rounds. Oh no, Thomas with a horrible jump, five inches, my goodness. Scar Lowy, also from team number one, all he has to do is jump farther than five inches here and he will win today's competition. And he barely does it, 18 inches, but it's enough for the win. And here we have Lady Hat presenting the trophy. First place to team number one, Scar Lowy, the big winner here today. Also team number one, Thomas coming in second and representing team number seven is Toby coming in third. What an interesting jumps we had today.
Hey guys, click here to watch another video and click here to subscribe to our channel. Bye!